All right, let's look at uh, lab 10. So lab 10, we got a little bit trickier um, formula is all. And this one, you know, it's good if you know a little bit of math, um, if you've done a little bit of math. And um, it's not really too hard. Uh, we're, we're, this math is just adding and multiplying, really. Uh, so let's do some. Uh, in business, right, this is sort of a little bit of business math. We're adding and multiplying. So what we're going to do here is we're going to work out the tax. Now what the tax is going to be is it's going to be on the total of everything here, we're going to multiply by 7.5%. Well, 7.5% is 0 0.075. But that has to be multiplied by the total. So we need the total, and then we multiply that by 7.5%. So let me put that in there. We always start off our formulas with an equal sign. Then we get a formula starts coming up here. Um, I'm going to, uh, what? I'm going to do a sum. Uh, the sum of what? The sum of, well, it should, should open brackets. And then I'm going to show all the things that I want to have added together. That's all of those. I just drag, dra dra dragged and dropped, right? And then I'm going to multiply them by 0 0.75. That's 7.5%. And that gives me my tax. So this is the tax on all of that. And that's that, all right? And so in cell D8, what they want to now is have the grand total. So we could have a net total, but this would be the gross total. This total is the gross total, uh, which includes the tax. And so that's just going to be the total of all those things, including the tax. So again, it's going to be equal. Now, actually, there's a, there's a shortcut to doing this too, right? If I was in the home, I could go and I could find my auto sum here. Just, yeah. And if I click on that, I have lots of little built-in um, functions there. And one of them is sum, and it sort of automatically does it for me. So how easy is that? So like I said in previous videos, there's usually two or three, four ways of doing everything. Um, we could have typed in the formula. And you can see the formula here. I could have typed that in. Or I could just hey, take the shortcut. I like the shortcut, right? Now, after discount, what's the discount? The discount is going to be 10% of that. So this value here is going to be this value this value here, where I'm pointing, is going to be equal to that value minus 10%. All right, so equal to that value minus 10%. Well, minus 10%. How do we do minus 10%? So I got the minus in there, right? So that would be, again, um, this value times 10%. Point 0.1 is 10%. Now, some of you who are a bit mathematically minded would have noticed that, hey, I could do that a lot quicker if I multiplied it by 90%, right? If I uh, take that value and just multiply it by 0.9, that would be after 10%. But maybe you like to leave some little, tr some little um, sort of hints behind for the people who might be looking at your, um, uh, at your uh, work to see how did you get that number. And so... That's why we might put the full thing in there, which is basically saying, take the number above, subtract from it the number above minus uh, times 10%. And that, uh, okay, so in cell D9, we've done all that. Uh, check out our lesson on D, all right. I think we've done, yeah, so let's say, yeah, there we are, and it looks just like that. So that's what we wanted to do, and we have done it. So that's good. Yes, we're going to.